Hello gamers and welcome to the Hapog Gaming Tutorial Series. I'm your host Fallen Frog and in this series of videos we're going to cover everything that you need to know about recording gameplay with the HD PBR. So let's get to it. This time I'm going to introduce you to OBS which stands for Open Broadcaster Software. It's a free program that lets you record and stream your PC. And guess what else? It works with your HD PBR2 or Rocket. So the first thing we need to do is get the program. Visit obsproject.com and you will see the home page. What you want to do is download the OBS multi-platform version located on the right. This next page, as you can see, has different operating systems listed and then different versions of the program. I'm going to use the multi-platform version since it directly supports the HD PBR2 and Rocket. And since I am on a Windows PC, I'm going to show you how to get the latest build for that system. So go ahead and click on Test Release Thread on the forums. I should probably explain real quick that OBS is completely free because it is open source. So anyone can look at the code and help contribute to it through the site. This build that we are getting is the latest build for Windows that is compatible with the HD PBR2 or Rocket. While it is technically not an official release yet, it's more than capable of helping you make some great videos or live streams. And you can always come back here if you run into problems or want to see the latest updates. And it's free. So with that being said, let's move on to actually getting the program. And as it says on the site, before downloading, the only external dependency it requires is the Visual Studio 2013 redistributable. So if you don't have it already, just go ahead and install this first. It's free, it's from Microsoft, it's, it's going to be quick and painless. So moving on. Now let's just get the program from the next link, which is hosted over on GitHub. This link will be provided in the description below, as well as over on obsproject.com. Once you have downloaded it, extract the contents wherever you wish. Open the folder and go into the bin folder and then select either 32-bit or 64-bit depending on your type of system. Uh, once you're in that folder, you want to look for the OBS32 or OBS64 application type. Just run that application and now we can get started. Okay, here we go. So the program is open and you should now see this screen. There is a blank preview window which has nothing in it. Below that, there's a space for different scenes, and sources can be found right next to the scenes, followed by the mixer settings. Finally, you'll see some buttons for start recording, start streaming, settings, and exit over on the right. Pretty self-explanatory. So let's right click in the white box below scenes, or click the green plus button. We need to add our first scene, and you can name it whatever you want. Once we have a scene, we need sources for that scene. So let's add a source in the same way. Click the green plus or right click and choose add and now we have some options. So we can add an image much like the personal logo inserter tool with Hapog Capture. We can also add media sources which can be actual movie clips or audio files but we don't need to worry about that today. Adding text to our scene is possible as well. You can have something written on screen for your viewers or even point the text source to a file on your PC. That's how streamers are able to show off their latest donators or current song playing on their streams. But that's for an entirely different lesson. Moving on to some of these capture options, we have display, window, game, and video capture to choose from. So real quick, I just want to explain the differences briefly. Display capture will record your monitor on your PC. This is great for making tutorials where you need to show someone how to do something and it usually involves moving around through different open windows on your computer. Window capture lets you select an open window and place it somewhere in your scene. So you can resize it and move it around and it's really great for browser based games. But unlike display capture though, if you need to tab out of a window to go to another, OBS will still show the window that you are capturing. Make sense? I hope so. Let's continue. Games Capture is for PC games, so if you load up a game from your Steam library, you can use OBS's Game Capture to record it, usually. 
Sometimes games don't display quite right for whatever reason, but if that does ever happen, just use window or display capture, and 95% of the time your problem is solved. None of those are going to record from our HD PVR though. That's what video capture device is for. The HD PVR2 or Rocket is technically capturing video from your console, so select this option to bring the gameplay into OBS. Now you can rename this if you want, and I suggest you do, but keep it simple, something like HD PVR. You will probably be adding more sources to your scene later, so this will help you keep track of everything in it. Now once you hit OK, the properties for this source have just popped up, and this is where you'll select which video capture device you want to add. So let's add the Hapog Sienna video capture device, and then press the activate button. And if you're using the HD PVR rocket instead of the HD PVR2, then you will want to select the IT9910 capture filter. As long as your console is on, you should see it on the preview screen. Now here's where OBS gets really cool. You can resize your source and move it wherever you want. So let's say real quick that you want to add a logo and a webcam to your scene. So just add a new source and select image and then hit OK. And then browse to the image file on your computer and then hit OK again. Now you can move it wherever you want and resize if need be. For the webcam, it's just like with the HD PVR. So you'll add a new video capture source. You'll select your webcam as the device, activate it, and then you're done. Then you can just place the cam wherever you want. You can also set up entirely separate scenes, and these are great for times when you may need something like a bathroom break during a live stream. You can easily switch the scene to say, be right back or something to that effect. It's of course up to you. And this is just the beginning of what you can do with OBS and the HD PVR though. You can really make your channel stand out from the rest. So keep exploring new ideas on your own and play with some of these free tools that are at your disposal. In the next lesson, I'm going to show you another great program that can be used to make your streams look awesome. It's called XSplit, and it fully supports the HD PVR family. So you can go ahead and click on the preview at the right for that lesson now. I'm Fallen Frog from Apog Gaming. Remember to like and subscribe if this video helped you, and thanks for watching.